Sanya Jain. I am from class 9th. Today I am here to present the thought of the day. Much is being said about peace and no man wants peace more ardently than I. I repeat, much is being said about peace and no man wants peace more ardently than I. Thank you. My name is Rishta Pari. I am in class 6. Today I am going to say some political news and sports news. So first I am going to say some political news. First, TMC hits out at Congress on women reservation issue. Second, lots of ifs and buts in captain's statement. Let him first quit Congress, said by Parminder Singh. Third, Samajwadi party has moved from Samajwad to Parivarwad, said by PM Modi. Fourth, latest headache for Congress in Punjab. On camera, MLA slaps a man who questions his work in constituency. Now it's time for sports news. First, T20 World Cup. India looks like to fix battling order in final world warm-up game against Australia. Second, in ICIC T20 World Cup 2021, India-Pakistan match should go on, says Prakash Padukone. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I, Soumya Rai of class 9th, am going to present a poem. The absence of light is darkness. The presence of it gives brightness. Education is the true light that can improve world's children's plight. Let pens become weapons like swords. Let voice pour forth powerful words. Let books become for women shields until education the power it yields. Children must go to schools to learn. Youth mustn't be forced to work and earn. Let knowledge empower women to stand upon their legs like men. World leaders must change policies. For education, all need peace. Let the lives of children be secure. Terrorism must find its cure. You shouldn't ignore the lives of youth. If nurtured well, they give good fruit. The wealth of nations is children. Earth can be changed. We made heaven. Thank you. Good morning. This is Kela Priya of Class 12 is going to speak on the occasion of UND. Today I am going to speak on the birth history and main objectives of UNO. History of UNO The United Nations is an international organization founded in 1945. After the Second World War by 51 countries committed to maintaining an international peace, security, developing friendly relations among nations and promoting social progress for better living and standards and human rights. Due to its unique international character and the power vested in the founding charter, the organizations can take action on a wide range of issues and provide a forum for its 193 member states to express their views through the General Assembly, Security Council, the Economic and Social Council and other bodies and committees. Third, the work of the United Nations of its system, specialized agencies, firms, programs affect our lives and make the world a better place. The organization works on a broad range of fundamental issues from sustainable development, environment, refugees protection, disaster relief, counter-terrorism to promote democracy, human rights, gender equality and the advancement of women governance, economic and social development, international health, cleaning landmines, expanding food production and more in order to achieve its goal, a coordinate efforts and a safer world for this future generation. The main objectives of UNO are first, to maintain international peace and security, second, to encourage international cooperation in the sphere, social, economic and cultural development, third, to develop friendly relations among nations on principles of equal rights and self-determination, fourth, to recognize and fundamental rights of all people. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Shrishti Dalai and I am from class 7. Today I am here to say you about the functions and organs of UNO. The main function of the United Nations is to preserve international peace and security. The action to prevent disputes from arising and to prevent existing disputes from escalating into conflicts. The second function is to protect human rights. Human rights are the basic rights and freedoms that belong to every person in the world from birth until death. These basic rights are based on shared values like dignity, fairness, equality, respect and independence. These values are defined and protected by law. The third function is deliver humanitarian aid. The organization is now relied upon by the international community to coordinate humanitarian relief 
to of emergencies due to natural and man-made disasters in area beyond the relief capacity of national authorities alone. The fourth function is uphold international law. The main role of international law is to promote global peace and prosperity. Ideally, international law and its accompanying institutes act as a balm to smooth over opposing interests that nations may have. Five main functions of UNO. Now we will know about the organs of UNO. The main bodies of the United Nations are the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Economic and Social Council, the Trusteeship Council, the International Court of Justice and the UN Secretary. All were established under the UN Charter when the organization was founded in 1945. Now you know about the organs and functions of UNO. Birth of the United Nations Organization The First World War 1914 to 1918 started in Europe as a result of increasing enmity between the industrialized nations. Countless soldiers and other people were killed or wounded. The war caused a lot of misery, bloodshed and destruction across the world. Some nations discussed a need for worldwide peace and thus came together to form the League of Nations in 1919. Despite this, the Second World War broke out in 1939 and caused even more damage and destruction. After the war, some nations again came together to form a world organization which would help in preventing any more wars in future. This was how the United Nations Organization was formed on the 24th October 1945. A set of rules called the Charter of the United Nations Organization was signed by 50 member countries including India. It listed the aims, objectives and principles of the organization to address important world issues and promote world peace. Today, 193 countries are members of the United Nations Organization. The UN headquarters are in New York, USA. The United Nations aims to maintain peace and security in the world by developing friendly relations among all countries and by helping to solve disputes in a peaceful manner. It also tackles important issues facing the world such as climate change, human rights, terrorism, natural calamities and gender inequality among others.